hello guys welcome to a brand new video and welcome to my first ever Champions League predictions yes for this season I will be doing Champions League and Europa League predictions as well but anyway first up Champions League predictions a lot to get through a lot of games to go be played over the next couple of days so guys you know what to do give us a little big thumbs up if you enjoy it subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go so the first game I'm going to try to predict, and sorry if I mispronounce any teams during this process as well, and that does go for Europa League as well. I will try my best not to get any wrong, but I probably will do. Um, so the first game is Young Boys versus Manchester United. Young Boys, to me, you know, do well. I know they've got through the Champions League the past couple of times in the past few years. Man United do look like a different kettle of fish this season though. I know they've already played the one game with Ronaldo, but I saw their highlights against Newcastle and they're a team I'm slightly, you know, be scared of when they come down here and I watch them play. So I'm going to go for a quite comfortable 3-0 United win. My next one is Slovenia versus Salzburg. Don't know nothing about the two clubs really, if I'm being honest with you. I know Salzburg got bright, uh, bright signed a player from early on in the transfer window. Slovenia, I think we played them once down here at the Emirates Stadium, and you know it's a really good um, mix of match. But I'm going to go for a draw for that one, and I'm going to go for a one-one scoreline for that one. The next one is Dynamo Kiev versus Benfica. Dynamo Kiev, probably know a little less about, if I'm being honest, but, you know, Benfica, don't think they were in the Champions League last season. I think they were in the Europa League. I think they might have won. No, they didn't win the Europa League today. But, you know, it's one of these things. Um... As far as the result goes, I'm going to go for probably just about a Benfica win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Benfica win. The next one is Barcelona versus Bayern Munich. Barcelona, you know, to me, obviously has all the great players. The likes of, you know, PK and... You know, there's a slight loss of Messi and Griezmann. Could that really change a lot of things up within this game alone? Bayern Munich, on the other hand, you know, still have a really great players. Probably a game I might watch across this uh, across this midweek if I can. Uh, it all goes all, obviously all, all the other English teams and you know games as well. What game I choose to pick, but. It's going to be a really interesting f um, game for this for these two clubs. Two big European um, squads as well. So I'm going to go for a draw and I'm going to go for a 2-2 two -two scoreline for that one. My next one is Villare uh, Villarreal against Atlanta. I'm not sure if I'm quite pronouncing that correctly. Apologies if I am getting it wrong. You know who I'm on about anyway. But Villarreal, yeah, again, do stand out to me a little bit more than Atlanta. Um, I know Atlanta has been in the Champions League quite a few times over the past few years. Um, and Villarreal, to me, obviously, big Spanish giants over there, along with the likes of Real Madrid. Uh, Barcelona, Valencia, list goes on with Fill Away Out in mind as well. As far as the game goes, I'm going to go for a Fill Away Out win and I'm going to go for a 3 1 Fill Away Out win. My next one is LOC Cal. I think that might be Lil as well. I'm um, sorry, LOC, LOS. See, as I said, I think it might be there as well. Going up against Wolfsburg of Germany this time around. I think, if I remember, as I just said, I think that might be there. I'm not too sure. Put it down in the comments below if you know. 
But Wolfsburg yet again do stand up with the Spanish giants. Um, not the Spanish giants, sorry, the uh, German giants. They like to bar their producing, bar Munich. You know, and all them great clubs. Wolfsburg is a team that I've seen in the past as well. Uh, playing the Champions League. So, you know, it's one of these things. But they are a really good, uh, you know, German team. L-O-S-C. You know, they've been in it as well over the past few years. Will, will it make a change in predictions? I think this one, yet again, might be another draw. And I'm going to go for a one all score line for that one. My next one is Mayo versus Juventus. I might pronounce that Mayo wrong. I might be well off the mark and yet again apologies if I am. Going up against a Juventus squad who has not won a game in Syria this season. They're still searching for their first win after the departure of Cristiano Ronaldo. This game could really be interesting for both sides. But I'm going to go for a bit of a shock, I think. And I'm going to go for a Mayo win. As I said, I could be mispronouncing the team way off. And apologies if I am. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Mayo win. My next one is Chelsea versus St. Petersburg. Now, Chelsea, yet again, do look like a bit of a different kettle of fish. With the likes of... You know, Thiago uh, Silva in there. You know, Chelsea really do look being a Premier League top contenders this season, even though it's still early in the Premier League season. Going up against St. Petersburg, and yet again, could possibly maybe a bit of a shock on the cards for St. Petersburg, I suppose. I'm guessing Chelsea's our favourites. It's going to be a really interesting game, though, for both clubs, but. Because Chelsea at home, home support, I'm going to go for a Chelsea win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Chelsea win. My next one is Besiktas against Borussia Dortmund. Yet again, apologies if I'm mispronouncing the club name. Going up against the Dortmund side, as I, I don't really know anything about Besiktas. Um, and yet again, apologies if I'm mispronouncing that. Uh, but I know nothing about them really. I know they've been in Champions League the past few years. On the other side, Borussia Dortmund do look very dangerous uh, across the season in their Bundesliga. Quite easy Borussia Dortmund win for me, and I'll go for a 2 1 Borussia Dortmund win. My next one is Sheriff versus Shetler Donet. Yet again, mis uh, apologies if I'm mispronouncing them in any way, shape, or form. Don't know anything about Sheriff. Don't know what league they're playing. And this will be brutally honest with you. Shat had the net. Stands out a bit more for me. Obviously over the past few years. They have qualified for the Champions League. And they've done pretty badly in my opinion. But yeah again. Quite um, easy result to predict. And I'm going to go for a nil nil scoreline for that one. My next one is Club Bruges versus Paris Saint-Germain. Paris Saint-Germain, what do you say about them this season? The likes of Lionel Messi, Neymar, Ben Pepe, who they managed to keep um, off Real Madrid. Their squad looks endless and fearless with Messi in that squad. Maybe not a move that Messi wanted to make himself. Maybe not a move that you know Barcelona wanted to see happen. But it still happens, no matter, you know, it's all due to, we all know what it's due down to, but it does look fearless in that Paris Saint-Germain squad. So I'm going to go for a quite comfortable, quite easy 4-0 Paris Saint-Germain win. I could be well off the mark with that one though, but that's what I'm going for. My next one is Manchester City versus RB Leipzig. Yeah, again, RB Leipzig. Plan in the Champions League again this season, and uh, you know, but going against going to the Etihad Stadium, where we all know what Man City can do on a regular basis. They look fearless, they look endless, and they look pretty much every time you see City play, 
your your team's up against it, you're pretty much saying, yeah, we ain't gonna get too far. But you know, um, going as far as the game goes, I'm gonna go for a Manchester City win, and I'm gonna go for a two-one Manchester City win. Man City still ain't quite got there yet, um, in my book. But you know, as I said, it's still early on in the Premier League season. My next game is Atletico Madrid versus FC Porto. To me, Atletico Madrid stand out more over Porto. Both clubs have been in the Champions League endless times in my lifetime. Atletico Madrid has got Griezmann back though. Maybe a game changer though, just with that one player. Porto on the other hand, yeah, as I said, do endless Champions League you know, games and whatever else. But big team in Portugal, but don't think they're quite good enough to beat Atletico Madrid. But I'm going to go maybe for a bit of a shock after I just said that. And I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Liverpool versus AC Milan. The, one of the replays of the 2005 Champions League final. I can remember watching that. I was only young at the time. You know, but great comeback by Liverpool. Deserved the title that night. And, uh, you know, they pretty much did get the title. I think it finished... F I think it finished on penalties. I think it went 3-3 and then finished on penalties. But going against an AC Milan side, Liverpool have got um, Elliot injured. I can't remember his first name. But, uh, you know, could be a big blow there. Watched them against leagues as I'm recording this yesterday. If they play anything like that, I reckon they might just edge it against AC Milan. But I think AC Milan will come back uh, and hold their defence a bit stronger. So I'm going to go for a Liverpool win just about because of that Anfield. And their crowd is unbelievable when they play in a walk alone at Anfield. I'm going to go for a 3 1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Sporting Lisbon versus Ajax. Don't know much about the two clubs, if I'm being honest. Obviously, Ajax have been in the Champions League endless times. Same with Sporting Lisbon. Sporting Lisbon is where Cristiano Ronaldo started his career um, just before United you know, like, came and brought him. I'm going to go for a way uh, win on this one, I think, just about. And I'll go for a 2-1 Ajax win. My last one is Inter Milan versus Real Madrid. Inter Milan, obviously, yet again, endless. Um, you know, Champions League. You know, endless Serie A's. One of the big clubs in Serie A. Um, with the likes of, you know... Lukaku was over there at one point. I think Ashley Young was over there at one point. But I do what I need to do. Going up against an OK Real Madrid squad. I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.